Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Uh, it's been a while since the last time I played, uh, but you may recall uh, we just made it to Glitzville here. Um, we're gonna have a bit of a look around and see what's going on, uh, because rumour has it there is a crystal star here and we wish to track it down. Hello there, you customer. The aroma of yum in the air is a specialty of Glitzville, Mr. Hoggle's famous hot dogs. Only ten coins for one. You will buy one. Nah, I'm good. That's too bad for you. You come back again. This is a regular item shop. Uh, we got we got earthquake, thunderbolt, power punch, repel cape, point swap. That's an interesting one. Swap your HP and FP cannot exceed max. But depending on your strategy, that might be a handy thing to have. Risky though. <laughs> Peace over here. You got a star piece. Lovely piece of a star. Yep, this is Glitzville. It's so exotic. It feels like we're in another country. This is like an entertainment hub that attracts visitors from all over the world. The Glitz Pit is obviously the main attraction. It's not hard to figure out. The right, the fresh juice shop. Hot dogs down to the left. Where to first? Ba -da -ba -ba, ba -da -ba -ba. Glitzville hangs out in the clouds. Give you two guesses why I like it here. That's all the key to. He's coming into the atmosphere. Get it? Atmosphere? <laughs> anyway, he seems to think jokes like that beauty are totally hilarious. You rode the blimp here, didn't you? Why, I envy you. I'm dying to ride that thing. Their travel makes me back. That's a toad from Glitzville. She really wants to travel, but she's terrified of flying. But my question is, how in the heck do you think she got here? Ponder that. I guess she was, like, born here and didn't really think about the fact that she's flying all the time because it's a flying city. I haven't seen your face around here and I know I remember a stash like that. Listen, guy, if you want to see a match, head on inside. That's the Glitz Pit. The Glitz Pit is quite important, yeah. That's a Dugan. He's really into pro fights. Obviously, a lot of the Glitz Pit. You can always tell true fight fans how totally rabid their opinions are. I already went up here on my previous video and got this. All good on that front. We want that, but we can't reach it yet. Where the world wanderers, the Travelling Sisters 3, usually. But here in Glitzville, where the rough and tumble battling and Travelling Sisters 3. These are the Travelling Sisters 3. They seem to go everywhere together. They seem so bitsy though. Do they even notice each new place they wind up in? I mean, they seem to have noticed that they're battling now, so I assume, I assume they've noticed where they ended up. Inventory is full right now. Uh, I don't really need the dried shroom though, so I'm just gonna eat that. Get out of my inventory. Then I can grab the item over there. Yeah, I read that already. Really do like the music in this game. <laughs> so yeah, this is the glitch pit. We're gonna walk into it now. And it's pretty much where the whole chapter takes place. This is the main attraction. Yo, out of the way, pal. I don't do stories on nobody. Sorry. Move it or lose it. That's a local reporter. I'm pretty sure he covers the fight scene. He's such a veteran, he even directs the rookie cameraman next to him. Move to one side, small fry. You don't think my camera shoots his famous athletes. That's a local cameraman. He seems a little flustered. I think he's new at this and makes lots of mistakes. Just a guess, though. <coughs> Welcome to the Glitz Pit. There's a guy over there who gets paid to say that, right? <coughs> Boy, it's hard to find a guy that clean cut and responsible these days. <sighs> I sighed just thinking about him. That's a toad girl. She's totally in love with that toad guy working here. 
The crush is so powerful, even I'm getting butterflies. They'd be so cute together. Oh, I know you. Well, hello, Mr. Mustache. We meet again. I can't really remember what voices I've been using, so I'm just improvising, but hopefully, hopefully it sounds alright. There's Ms. Mouse, the thief. She jets off to exotic locales to hunt for rare badges. The fact that she's here means the Glitz Pit must have something special. I'm gonna take my jacket off. It's just a little warm in here. There we go. I'm wearing long sleeve band jacket. It's better for going outside, really. Okay. Oh, you're pretty. Hello. Well, hello there, you big burly hunk of a man, you. You're smashing, dear. But I'm afraid I'm only interested in the champion, Hawk Hogan. Toodaloo. Okay, so this is one of the changes that the Thousand New Door Plus mod makes. This character's name in the original English is Rock Hawk, but they... But in the original Japanese, it was more of a pun, so they changed it to Hawk Hogan in this in this patch. Uh, because yeah, they wanted to preserve more of the feel of the original Japanese. It's kind of a better localization, if that makes sense. Sorry, bub. Authorizers for authorized people only past this point. I was going for the word personnel because it made sense, but he doesn't say that. <laughs> if you're looking to see a match, head on through those main doors. This guy is Glitzbit security. He has to keep watching this particular area. Look at the huge pipes on this guy. Wowzers. But he's buffer than the fighters. Oh, I didn't tattle on you, did I? Hello. That's Toodles the Toad. Gosh, this woman knows how to dress. So jealous. Even classy ladies like her come to watch the fights. I guess she likes tough guys. Hey, Ms. Mouse. Is this the Toad you have a crush on? Welcome to the Glitz Pit! Here, savage battles go on each and every day. That's a toad who works here part-time. He always greets patrons like, Welcome to the Glitz Pit! Love that guy. Yeah, that's that's him. I, I don't really get what you see in him, but you know, if you if you like him, that's good for you. <laughs> hey, Mr. Mustache Guy, where's Prince Mush? This kid is still small, but he's like the biggest Prince Mush fan I've ever seen. Here with his dad. It's so cute to see kids and parents having fun. His dad? Hi, we're here because my son is a big fan of the former champ, Prince Mush. But looks like he's not around here anymore. And he came all this way just to see him. Bit of a crying shame, really. This guy's here with his son. I can't tell if he's psyched to be here with his boy, but one way or the other, it's nice to see parents spending time with their kids. Uh, you said the same thing. Uh, yeah, they both said the same thing. Oh no, that, that's just a different. Just keep watching this particular area. I can tell this guy works out all the time. I bet he's buffer than the fighters. Like, it's basically the same sentiment, but it is different text, so... I don't want to miss it. Hey, how you doing, bud? I'm a freelance cameraman. Always after a scoop. That's a freelancer. He's always angling for the next big scoop. We gotta make sure this guy doesn't shoot us doing anything incriminating. <laughs> I think that's everyone we can talk to in the lobby here. Yes. Whoa, totally awesome! Check it out, Mario, someone's about to catch a beating up there! That's right! <clears throat> Think it's about time for you to feel the hawk! <laughs> Ooh! Stay down, pincushion. You don't want more of this. Why'd you even show up? Yeah, you hear me talking, Wimpy? Stay out of the ring or feel the burn, baby. Tell you what, do about a million push-ups and then come see Uncle Hawk Hogan. I'll give you another world-class spanking and send you crying home to Mama again. Ooh, wee champ, that was a great A weapon. Your thoughts on the match? Call out a match? Ain't there a fighter out there who can challenge me? 
No, no one can hear me. Ain't a fighter out there can even make me sweat. They're all a bunch of little crybabies running around in stinky diapers. You got a bone to pick? Come fight me. Bring it. I'll take on anyone. You weaklings ought to stick to playing Super Smash Bros, okay? Cause I'll hurt you. Oh, I will play Super Smash Bros, thanks. <laughs> yeah, number one, baby. Hawk Hogan is the champ. <laughs> Oh, would you look at that? Whoa, look Mario! Yeah, on the champ's belt! Isn't that a crystal star? Yeah, yeah, it totally is! Look at it sparkle! Gotta be a crystal star! Why would that be in a sweaty old pit like this? What do you think we ought to do? We can't just steal that nutcase's belt, can we? This stinks. What do we do? Like, what we're supposed to do is battle our way to the top and get it that way, but... I'm gonna see what happens if I say steal that thing. Come on, Mario. Seriously, we're the good guys here. We can't do that. No, no, the way I see it, our only option is... For you to kick some tails, take some names, become the champ, and win that belt. Well, let's get busy, huh? I guess we gotta become official battlers first, right? Oh, I'm kinda getting stoked about this. Let's go find out who runs this shindig. We are the good guys, but we also need to save the world, so, uh... Um, I think we need to talk to the officials. You hey guys, hello. What's up, bub? You wanna become a fighter? Hmm. Well, if you're serious, you better go meet with Mr. Grubber, the promoter. Mr. Grubber's office is just down the hallway. You can't miss it. Head on through. office again? I've forgotten. We might be on this side. Nope. We have walked all the way around. I must need to talk to someone in order to find his office. This is a major league locker room, bub. Sorry, can't go in there. Uh, is it this one? What's that? You want to be a fighter, bub? Oh, alright. Go on in. Mr. Grubb is just inside. Who incarnation are you, son? And who let you in? Grubber's office. Yep, that's me, Grubber. And you, you're one rude dude coming in without knocking. What now? An athlete, huh? You want to be a fighter? Ooh-wee! That do change a thing or two, son. I always got time for an up-and-comer. Yep, this place is packed to the gills with young fighters all primed and raring to go. I gotta say, son, you're a bit skinny for my taste, but I'm willing to give you a shot. That's an interesting line, because Mario is generally, you know, assumed to be kind of a chubby fella, you know? Hmm. Now, play me straight, son. You wanna live the glamorous life of a champ, don't ya? Come, Skippy. Not particularly. Alright, alright, son. I hear where you're coming from, son, loud and clear. When I was just a poor pup, I didn't give a pokey's patoot for fancy big city ways. But I jumped into the world of martial arts and fought my way to fame and riches. And know what I realized? Being rich and famous is diggity dang dynamite! Now I can't mix it up in the ring no more, but I earned enough to set me to life. You reading me here, son? Dreams do come true, even if they aren't yours exactly. Yep, that's the key, son. Dream big and you'll get big. That's the winner's way. And when you make it big, you'll look back at all those small dreamers and laugh. You reading me here, son? That's the spirit, chief. Here, let's have us a little walk and talk. Come on now.
how do you like this pod? Just feast your eyes, go on. This is the champion's room. Isn't it a sight? Deluxe! You become champ, son, and you get the key to this room. That ain't all, of course. That's on top of the big money and screaming fans. Yeah, no doubt about it, son. Apply yourself in a life of wealth and comfort awaits. Now, uh, here we have the Major League Locker Room. A lot of contenders here. What you think, son, huh? Not exactly glamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. Totally sanitary, too. Maybe more old-fashioned, but I care about my fighters, darn it. Now, I'm sure you know this already, son, but there ain't but one world champion. Clawing your way to the top and taking the belt to become champ ain't an easy thing. That's the point, son. Wouldn't be worth it if there were no challenge. If there weren't no challenge. I can see you got the fire for it too, Poe. You got the eye of the tiger there. You're gonna be champ, I can just feel it. I ain't never been so sure about a fighter. Oh hey, one other thing. You gotta sign an itty bitty contract to be a fighter. It ain't no thing, just take a second or two with your time. Just jot your name here, okay? I love to sign contracts without reading them. You signed the contract. Best thing you ever done, son. Now, you Mario? Ain't a bad handle. Still, I gotta say, part, it lacks a little punch as a fighter's name, get me? Let me see here. Bam! Hooey! I got it. From now on, you're gonna be the Great Gonzalez. Woo! Ain't that a beaut. Dang if that ain't a stroke of genius. A name that good comes around once a lifetime. Yep, everyone will soon bow before the Great Gonzalez. Make me proud, son. Well, now that we got the visiting side out of the way. Jolene, could you come in a minute, darling? There's Jolene. Yes, sir? You wish to see me? Sure did, hon. Jolene, this is the Great Gonzalez, our newest rising star. Be a peach to take him on down to the minor league locker room, alrighty? Right away, sir. Mr. Gonzalez, if you'd be so kind, please follow me. <laughs> As you know, you're a contracted fighter now, so you must abide by some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Grubber says goes. Period. You must do what he says. Also, as per your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grubber releases you. There are many other small guidelines that will explain as they become relevant. Well, here we are. This is your locker room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, if you just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, just log onto this computer terminal here. Mr. Gravel will then decide who you'll match up against. We'll have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the screen and log on with A. Then pick a reserve a match. Oh, I will. Welcome to the automated re match reservation system. What is your command? Reserve a match. Well, howdy, Gonzalez. Ready to get your fists dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first battles are going to be against the Goomba Bros. Don't you worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Hey, we want to get everyone fired up, though, so appeal to the crowd at least once. So any questions about detailed rules, just ask the lovely Miss Jolene, okay, son? Well, good luck, pod. So the way this works, uh, for each fight, Grubber will give you an extra rule, like having to appeal to the crowd at least once, and if you don't do it, then it doesn't count as winning the fight. You have to do the extra thing that Grubber asks you for, as well as fighting it normally. Okay, your battle is reserved. At this point, you just wait until security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team that drops the opponent's HP at zero first wins. If you beat an opponent who ranks above you, your ranking will go up. And again, if you lose to a low ranking opponent, your ranking will go down. Simply winning is not enough. Mr. Grubber sets fight conditions, follow them. In this case, the condition is to appeal to the crowd at least once. Really easy. To satisfy the condition and win, you can battle a higher ranked opponent next. If you can get your rank up to 11th, then you'll get a shot at the Major League. That's about all you need to know for now. Do you understand all that? Yep. Okay, good. Now, just wait until security comes to get you, Mr. Gonzalez.
Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. Okay, security's here to escort you to the ring. Don't get completely destroyed out there. Game time for the first fight is pretty easy, so I'm not too concerned. Goomba bro, just a bunch of Goombas. Where and up next, folks, are the Hoppin' Hardheads, the Goomba Bros. And a newcomer with a hankering for hammering, the Great Gonzalez. The Goomba Bros have been waiting and getting all head up for the fight. Let's check in. How do you do, Goomba Bros? How are you all feeling today? You ready for this fight? Huh, are you kidding, man? We're always ready to bonk a fool or two. Who is this Gonzalez rookie? A cocky idiot, that's who. Waiting just makes us mad. We're gonna teach this tardy punk how to respect fighters with seniority. I think maybe you ought to call an ambulance for him now just to save time later. But diggity dang, fight fans, there's the great Gonzalez now, striding on up. I tell you, this rookie's got some guts, strolling up late like he owns the place. Whew. Okay now, Gonzalez, listen up. Let me just explain the rules of the match real quick. Have a bonk, punk! Ah! Go to the crowd at least once. Hey, those total cowards! Those chickens attacked us before the bell rang! Oh, that is it! Come on, we aren't losing to punks like them. Let's waste them! Quick crying, will ya? That's just a little welcome gift for the rookie. Where's our thank you? I think, yeah, because we already know about Goombas. Oh, uh, we didn't need to paddle on them, so I'm just gonna swap partner. Oh, we do need to appeal. Uh, I'll appeal first. Uh, and then you're going to swap to Goops. Let's get up to Goops. If they've already got the super boots, like a single jump is enough to hurt them. Goops will be back next turn. I need, I need to do a shell pass. Oh my god. Alright. This will work. It's slower. Can't block while you're down like that. Wish you have done that sooner. Not exactly hard though. <laughs> As you can see, yeah, the Goomba Bros are not tough. Ugh. The Great Gonzalez wins! Tell me, son, what was its first taste of victory like? Uh, it's okay, I guess. I'll tell you what I just saw, folks. A weapon! This kid's got skills. We got ourselves a new hero. Let's hear it for him, folks. Yeah, the Great Gonzalez! Well, Gonzalez, that fight wasn't a total loss. But listen, son, fighters gotta play to the crowd, you know, pump them up more. I'm hoping you'll give me more razzle-dazzle next time, huh? We understand each other? Good. I'll be on my way, then. Miss Jillian here will give you your fight money. See ya! Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. You got three coins! Mario's ranking rose to 19. Next fight will not be set up until you select like, reserve a match on the terminal. You can also check your current ranking on the terminal screen. Feel free to do whatever you like until your next fight. You have a nice day, Mr. Gonzalez. Yo, Rook, how was your first fight, dog? I'm King K, man. Just a bush league scrub like you. Good meeting you, man. You look like a stand-up dude. I think I can hang with you. Hey, so why don't you meet the gang, huh? This guy here is Master Crash. Nice to meet you, bomb. Well, now that we've gotten to know each other, I will give you advice, Bum. <laughs> As Miss Jillian was saying, you better Bum obey Mr. Grubber's conditions. 
If you clear the conditions and win, you get to fight higher ranked foes, bomb. If you can't clear them, you bomb end up battling a lower ranked fighter, bomb. If you can't climb the bomb rankings fighting the bottom of the barrel, bomb, bomb. Yeah, my man's got, you know, some speech issues, but he's got good advice sometimes. Not just sometimes, advice is always useful, bum bum. Right, man, whatever. Anyway, this lean machine over here is Bandy Andy. <laughs> nice to meet you. Not in here too often, but if you see me around, say hi. Oh, yeah, if you sleep in the bed over there, your HP and FP will fully recover. It's not like the cushy bed in the champ's room, though, it doesn't refill star power. Okay, cool, and this last guy with the sweet purple kicks is known as Klefto. Klefto no like to make friend with Mustache. Easy there, Klefto. If you ain't the friendliest guy, but get used to him. Anyway, that's the cool minor league crew, man. Need something? Ask us. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You and me gotta eventually square off, so... Good luck, man. Okay, I'm gonna start by having a little nap, because we are... a little short on FP. And then we're more or less equipped to continue. The next fight is not going to be a huge deal. I might switch back to Goombella just so that we have her available to tackle. Uh, if I view the rankings, I can actually see who's next. It's the KP Coopers. I, th I think Spike Storm is like the most the place we're most likely to get stuck. Uh, you do get stuck on one of the fights, and then you need to get a new ability in order to continue, but I don't think that's for a little while. I think it's Spike Storm. Oh boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fixin' for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then. Let me just see here. Your next opponent will be... Ranked 18 in the Glitz Pit, the KP Coopers. Now listen, son. In this battle, I want you to use at least one special move, okay? Brad needs something flashy to catch my drift. Give him a good show. Now get in there and blow the roof off, son. I'm not sure if... Hey, dog. Looks like your next match is against me. Good luck, man. For both of us. Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. I'm gonna check these real quick, which I miss fighting. You can just hide in the lockers if you want. Yeah, there's nothing much in there. Match time! Uh, we're coming up on about a half hour, so we basically set up the structure of this chapter already. You sort of know what to expect. Uh, but as for the actual gameplay, you know, we'll continue next time. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Shell Machines of Doom. Yep, a fight to the finish with the KP Coopers. They ain't gonna lose to scrubs like you. Meet my peeps, Gonzalez. Told you we were gonna square off, and now it's on. Get yourselves ready to battle! <laughs> I think. Oh, it does mean these ones. Okay, yeah, I can do that. That should be all we need, and then I can just do another summer. Oops. I'll do a little bit of damage. Oh, we do want to tattle these guys, actually. That's a KP Trooper. It's a Koopa Trooper of a slightly different colour. Max HP is 4, attack is 2, and defense is 1. Looks like its ability to dislike any Koopa. So we ought to be a piece of cake. Don't go easy just because you know King K, Mario. That's what friends are for. Uh, still need to tattle the one in the back. I don't want to miss any cattle, is basically the problem here. Yeah. That's a K 
HP Power Trooper. You can Power Trooper for a different color. Max HP is 4, attack is 2, and defense is 1. Attacks are the same as your average garden variety, variety group Power Trooper. So I just do the same thing as always. Stomp on it, flip it, and drop its defense to 0. My head bonk is pretty effective against it too. Come on, let's get him! I'm kind of glad I messed up Earth Primer because that probably would have killed them faster and I wouldn't have time to tattle. <laughs> Gotta stop points! <laughs> we got ourselves a winner! The Great Gonzalez! What'd you expect, huh? We rock! Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Received four coins. Mario's ranking rose to 18. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Hey, way to hand out a beat down out there, man. You beat me, straight up. Could swing the other way next time, though, you know what I'm saying? For a little nap. Okay, so it's been a half hour. I'm gonna call that a video. Uh, we've more or less started the relevant part of the chapter, which is fighting here in the Glitz Pit. Uh, next time we will be fighting the Pokey Triplets. Is the Punk Rocks is the one I'm thinking? Well, oh, no, actually, it's the Armored Harriers. Yeah, but we can get through everything on the bottom on the, this this screen without too much trouble. But the Armored Harriers will be a problem. Right. It's, it's been a while since I've played the game, but yes. But that, that's the way it goes. So yeah, um, you get the idea. We, we just do a bunch of battles back to back to go up in the ranks. Uh, and I think if you lose, you don't get a game over. It just reduces your rank. Uh, it doesn't really matter that much because we're not going to lose, but it's, it's, that's how it works. Uh, save? Looking for a save block, please. Here's one. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Oh, I should paddle. This is the backstage corridor. Compared to the Glitz Pit, this is so business-like. There's security all over, so you can't just wander around wherever you want. Okay, um, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Next time, we're gonna climb the ranks a bit further. <laughs> there was a lot of just talking in that episode because we had uh, Gubber and Jolene explaining the system and stuff like that. But yeah, we, we really need to get that crystal star that Hawk Hogan is wearing on his championship belt. Maybe I can get that shine sprite outside already. Let me just check that real quick. Might be able to get enough hype by doing. Mm, doesn't look like it. I see a new ability. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Next time we'll be climbing the ranks here in the Glitz Pit. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye! <laughs> Where's my mouse? Oh, it's showing up on there. Look at that. Huh. <laughs> Didn't know it was set to do that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye!